Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Yu-Gi-Oh game that's coming out this year in the summer, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Psycho Card Battle Royale, I guess is like uh, the placeholder name because I don't know if we have an official English name for this game yet, but nonetheless, um, this is going to be the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game coming out this year. And I'm really curious to see how this Battle Royale game mode plays out, but we got a lot of news to cover in this video. In fact, there's going to be a secret rare pot agree that will be a promotional legendary card coming out out in here as well but anyways if you guys are excited about it drop a like on this video because i've been really waiting for a new really good Yu-Gi-Oh game to cover on the channel as i really think they should do it like a duelist of the roses like hd remake but uh nonetheless this is going to be a completely new Yu-Gi-Oh game it's not like traditional Yu-Gi-Oh. and i'll go ahead and go over kind of like the differences from it so first off in terms of the things that you want to know like rapid fire real quick um because i sometimes i hate when youtubers take too long to get to the point anyways important dates and like the price point so um anyways it's going to be coming out on Thursday, August 12th, 2021. And on top of that, the uh, suggested retail price is about 60 bucks. So um, keep in mind that switches are not region locked. So that means that we will be able to play this game when it comes out. Granted, we might not have an English translation ASAP. I don't even know if they're, they're planning to release it. But anyways, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Strongest Battle Royale or Psycho is going to be the uh, Battle Royale H. This is the HD screen caps because we got uh, new gameplay screenshots because they've been hyping up this game, but we didn't actually get to see the, any of the gameplay as well as some of the, like, the newer things that I want to show you guys because I love playing some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games, uh, specifically like the, the 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 Tag Force duels. If you guys remember that on the PSP days, we got to walk around and we're gonna be able to walk around in this game. But let me go and show you guys some of the screen caps and give you guys the news that you want. So first off, some promo cards. I think the most important one that people will be mostly interested in is the Dark Magician Girl, but there's also the Legend Pot Agreed. Now, sometimes when we come out with like newer versions of cards, they get nerfed, like they get basically a worse version of it. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is going to be the actual effect. Now, going over the other effect of the other monsters, because, well, Dark Magician Girl, she doesn't have a special effect or anything. Uh, but nonetheless, there is another newer card that would be newer to the game that I have not covered. So this is uh, Psycho Battle Flag A. Ace Breaker. So it has a requirement that you can activate by sending two monsters from your hand to the graveyard. You can activate by sending two monsters from your hand to the graveyard. The effect is to choose and destroy one face-up monster your opponent controls. So that is the effect of the promo card. Now keep in mind, if any of you guys are willing to pick up this game, I would really suggest you guys to maybe purchase the physical version. The reason why if you get the digital version, obviously you don't get some of these cards. Sometimes some of these cards can go up in value. And like Dark Magician Girl, Pot of greed uh, like blue eyes white dragon some of these promo cards can be actually worth a lot of money and sometimes you can actually profit off of actually getting the physical card game um now there's also something that they mentioned about amiibo but it, it doesn't really show it so i'm not sure if this is like uh because this isn't actual text this is actually a picture i cannot um tell you guys exactly what it does because I, I tried try, uh, using like the Google Translate over it. The only thing we got out of it was like the release date, which was still pretty important. But uh, if someone wants to let me know, uh, you, is this like you get like, like there's like six different Amiibos and you get one like guaranteed? I don't know. They mentioned something about Amiibos, but it's got a question mark. So anyways, onwards with the newer screenshots as well as gameplay, because I think this is the first time that we've actually been able to see it. So they have this little thing that kind of scrolls through some of the screenshots, but I'll just show you guys more other screenshots. But most importantly, you get to walk around. This is one thing I felt like the newest game if you guys have played the one on the switch or even back on the xbox or ps4 the uh link evolution like it was called uh was it the uh, legacy of the duelist where it had like all the campaigns and that was really cool but i really liked being able to walk around here's some of the characters that they show off and just like some of the uh Yu -Gi -Oh games when you summon like the ace monster i'm sure it like has some animations on the summon but it's showing also over here what sets that uh this game will include which is pretty important but obviously they could technically just update the game with dlc but a lot of times what happens is they might release like one or two DLC packs and then they just release a new Yu-Gi-Oh game which if you want the newest cards and the newest update the newest ban list you have to buy the newest one which is I just wish they would just update Yu-Gi-Oh like you know in general just to uh, show off like you know um, that th the game is going to get some support and we don't have to buy a new game because that's what happens with a lot of times with these Yu-Gi-Oh games is they just uh, make a new game but anyways yeah you can duel with your friends and stuff like you know we kind of expected that that should be like a no-brainer but I was mostly interested in seeing the other screenshots for the game and if you guys are wondering what that transfers to as far as yen price because I transferred it, um, yeah, we're looking at about 60 bucks over here. 
uh, for the price point. But anyway, so more uh, HD screen caps. Uh, again, so you know, obviously you're gonna see like you know animations of you know this person versus this person. But on top of that, we had to actually see like the gameplay screenshots over here, which is something again that uh, wasn't shown off. I would say uh, previously. So obviously rush duels are going to be a little bit different if you guys don't know how rush duels work. I'm gonna go actually pin this video down below, but it shows you guys basically how rush duel works. And I'm just gonna briefly just mention how it works. So basically you draw five every single turn and this is um, like my first duel over. And you can still play this on like dueling book. You can play it on other Yu-Gi-Oh applications, even like uh, EDO Pro uh, has this as well right now. It's usually not the most populated, but the only thing that's kind of fun with this is the gameplay is supposed to play a little bit fast you draw five at the start of every single time with on fast forward uh to where like it becomes my turn but the most important thing is every single turn look at this you get a draw until you have five cards and there's also these things like blue eyes white dragon is a legend card and these legend cards are only going to be able to be utilized like once in a deck as in you can only play one copy of and that new pot agreed card guys is actually going to be uh one of the legendary cards or a legend card but nonetheless that's kind of like the basic mechanics of why it's different also it's more like Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links in terms of like the field zone so if you guys have played that you'll feel kind of more so at home uh with the uh, gameplay mechanic um but uh here's basically what the different uh views of the board can look like so it looked kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! uh pro 2 if you guys have remembered that game uh where like the the card artwork was 3d so it's kind of like more flashy especially for like i would say the younger generation <clears throat> this could be kind of something nice to go ahead and have but if you're more like a traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! player and you want to see like the bird's eye view that you can see over here this is more what i consider like a regular Yu-Gi-Oh! um game like in terms of like what it looks like i like it like where you can actually see everything not like these weird angles but you know people like different things and it's good that uh you know they have multiple angles because that could determine sometimes if people even want to play the game because of the, the the view but most importantly they have specifically the uh, ability to walk around so this is like the overworld i'm not sure how big it is i didn't show off the map unfortunately but <clears throat> over here we can see some more screenshots of gameplay and what's cool with this is again it looks like a 3d Yu-Gi-Oh game where you have a world <clears throat> and you can like walk around and uh duel people even was it uh, Yu-Gi-Oh online <clears throat> I just like the idea of being able to walk around in what seems like a like a world. If you guys remember some like the older Yu-Gi-Oh games like the uh, Tag Force 5 for the PSP, this was really cool. Um, and, and judging about what you guys like, I mean, it seems like you guys really liked it. If you guys want to check out that video, it's a little bit older. Uh, but, like, I like this idea, right? That was so cool. And I was wondering, why don't we have this in a modern-day Yu-Gi-Oh! game? And, well, they're actually bringing it back. So, I'm really, really excited to see, like, you know, what the campaign has. Even if I'm not able to read it, I like the idea of maybe building, like, a team or something, like, that's more interactive with, like, the world versus just, like, walking around hit and duel. But we'll have to wait and see and they show off. Like, yeah, there's going to be monster animations uh, for this, like I mentioned before before uh with it but if you guys do want to see a full like rush tool i'll also link that down below but yeah seeing some of the promo cards that's pretty cool that we're getting pot agreed but remember pot agreed is going to be a legendary card which means that you can only have one copy of it in your deck but i'm curious to know what you guys think about this game will you guys be picking this up for me as a Yu-Gi-Oh content creator like yeah it's a, it's a no-brainer it's a must i will be definitely streaming it or and playing it when it does come out even if we don't know how to read it hey that'll be part of the extra entertainment but we could use some type of translator on a phone or something but yeah i'm really excited about this game if you guys are new here and you do want to see gameplay of this when the game comes out yeah we'll definitely be playing this game as soon as it comes out so if you want to check that out hit subscribe turn that bell if you're new here and you'll definitely see it as soon as it comes out and if there's any other further news in the future i will definitely give you guys uh, updated news on this but i don't think there's going to be really anything else to, to cover that's going to be huge information usually it's just like you know, the promo cards and then on top of that you know when is it coming out that's what people want to know and so I, I got that out of the way really fast but anyways thanks for tuning in guys let me know what you think of rush tools if you've played it is it something that you guys are interested in as right now it's only available in japan i believe and perhaps if it does well enough they'll bring it to the states and for me any Yu-Gi-Oh content as long as there's more stuff but i would really like to see duelist of the roses so if you're watching this konami please give us a hd remake or just make duelist of the roses like you know two i did i would love a future update to it i know there's there's a fan created uh mod that people were making in some of like the um uh, tabletop board games but I, we need an official game because when it's not an official game i really feel like people are just like uh whatever it's too hard to get the mods to work and on top of that we need cross play this is something that's huge especially with the Yu-Gi-Oh link evolution game this is something we super missed out on why is there no cross well technically because the old xbox one might not have the latest update on the patches but please update your game 
games so we don't have to repurchase the game again and again you can make it purchase dlc but just make a game that we can play online with it just it's so wild in 2021 how there's still no official Yu-Gi-Oh online game we gotta uh, rely on remote duels which i'll be honest i'm not too much of a fan of just update your games that's all i ask for but anyways thanks for tuning in, guys and if you enjoyed the video drop a like